Hey, hey, everyone. It is Jane A with the Let's Get Loud podcast. Wow. Um, t- speaking of Let's Get Loud, those tickets must be coming out soon. Uh, you know, because uh, they were saying that we needed, they're ready to be sold, but we wanted the Galentine to kind of like come out and do its thing. Um, but Let's Get Loud, October 5th. Please, please come so that we can say we sold out the Capitol in Moncton on our fourth year. Uh, slash, it's going to be the best night ever. Uh, I mean, last year, I feel like we have this, like, now there's a template and and, yes. and and people are like, oh, you need to do this every week. And I'm like, no, it would die. We need to, yes. you need to like, be like, wow, I want this again, you know? Mm-hmm. And make it like a, make it a thing. You guys go to dinner, get yourself hotel rooms, like really make it a thing. Oh, that we, that we. I you said, to- are we ready to start the podcast? But I don't know if we decided what we were going to actually nope. talk about on the podcast before you said that. No, we didn't decide. Um, I think naturally it's going to come. It's going to come okay. naturally to us. Um, oh, okay. Well, we can definitely continue last. Oh, well, we have two things. Jeff's journey and continue last week's podcast on like interviewing our members. There's one last question that I'd love to have a conversation with you that was asked to them. It was quite interesting what they said. Um, but before we get to that, did you see that Justin Timberlake is going on tour? I did. Okay. I'm I so even happy. looked at look, well, looked at the tour dates. Okay. So I didn't send you a message because I feel like you're going to follow whatever we do. I, I needed to go straight to the people that are more difficult. You're Crystal? not difficult. Crystal. Oh, okay. I'm not difficult. I like that. Not difficult. No. If no. I say, hey, you're coming here, you're going to, oh, and ah, the kids, blah, blah, blah. And then you're still going to come because <laughs> I'm going to force you. But here's the thing. So I have this thing in my pocket that I can use anytime. Listen. Jeff is going away on an aviation thing for a week. Okay. Okay. He's, he never leaves guys. Yeah. Never leaves. This is a ever. big deal ever. Okay. And so I'm, I, of course I'm going to miss him, blah, blah, blah. But the opportunities, I'm seeing the opportunities being mindful about this opportunities, options, possibilities. Okay. So while he's gone during that week, it's like, hot summertime though. So I'm going to do a girl's party at my pool with the kids. I'm going to do like, there's going to be so much fun. Right. Okay. Okay. But I also now have in my pocket, the fact that he left for a week and he left me alone with the kids and my mom. Okay. So I know. So I'm like, okay. Uh, I asked him if he wanted to come see Justin Timberlake with me. He said, absolutely not. And I said, okay, uh, I'm, I would love to go. I think it's what a great concert that would be. You know how I love concerts. That's my love language. And so it is end of June, beautiful weather. This could be our like mom's getaway instead of like, where is he coming? He's going to Boston, which is like super easy. Okay. 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 I love a road trip. Love a road trip. That's also part of my love language. And so I got to drive. You guys would just come into the backseat. Um, and uh, I love that it's June, June 29th. So we're talking like later on in the year. Uh, I like that it's probably going to be nice weather. And um, I think we can like take our time. Like we can stop like in Bangor and then like, you know, have a night there and then like finally drink, get to Boston, do the concert and then like take our time. It's just like a fun ha ha he he journey. Anyways it's in it's in it's one of the things that I'd love to be able to do okay. um but yeah so I do have that card that I can play at any time which I typically okay. like, I, I and I need a card to not feel guilty you know okay. I don't feel guilty for the children I feel guilty for Jeff okay um, but then I don't if he also did that right yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah 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 so I feel guilty for the children and not Neil no not me the children are loved they have everything they ever need. Okay. Uh, it's more like the, uh, you know what I mean? Like we are a partnership and you do enjoy, I do enjoy being with you. Um, so I think it's more that it's more the, that part, but now I don't. So he's like, do you really need my permission to go to this concert? And I'm like, I feel like I do actually. He's like, no, you can do whatever you want. I was like, well, that is just great news. And then there's also, wait, I could also play it for Backstreet Boys on the beach in Mexico. Oh, have you heard of this? No. For the Backstreet Boys, they do like a three day, you know how they did the Backstreet Boys cruise? And I missed all of that. Okay. Which is hilarious to me. Yeah. But okay. Well, I mean, the dream. 
So I was looking into if there was a Backstreet Boys cruise, because that could, it's like a four day thing. I'm like, that would be amazing. Like that would be my dream. Imagine. Okay. Um, they're like at the pool with you. You like see them in the elevator come dying. Okay. That is like my nightmare. Oh my God. Literally my dream. Okay. So, um, they're not doing a cruise this year. They're at a resort and there's like a bunch of artists that do concerts every night on the beach. Okay. April. But that's a, that's dedication. There's a plane ticket involved. Yeah. Like you're in Mexico. So like, mm. that's a little bit too much for me. I like to leave in my car. Mm. That makes me happier, but there's still time. You know what I mean? Like Justin did really is just like this one person that, you know, announced it. There could be someone else bigger and better that comes out that I'm like, Ooh, that's really someone I want to go see. But I mean, Justin Timberlake's great music, good body. You think he's going to play old music too. I don't know. I think I, I want to, I, I want to believe so. Okay. Yeah. We can definitely see his uh, sit list. Oh, really? That's a thing? At one point when it starts. Okay. Yeah. 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 They do Spotify lists. Like I know all of the songs for Taylor Swift so that we can practice one after the next. It's Taylor Swift November. November. So far. So far. So far. Yeah. That's going to be so amazing. Yeah. Still like, don't want to like, think about like anything could happen. Know what I mean? Like in my mind it's happening, but I still like, obviously I'm all like, she could cancel last minute. She could. Um, she could die. Yep. Yeah. I could die. Yep. No, yeah. So mm -hmm. for now, super exciting in the future. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that's what's up. I mean, that was great news. I told Crystal about it. She said she was okay. up for it, but she keeps saying that and never comes. And she said, she said, I always say this. I seem to always say this, but it never actually happens. And I'm like, yes, I know. I know Crystal. I do feel like last year we didn't go away. We didn't cash in our mother's day trip. We did not. Yeah. We need to cash it in. And I want to, I want to really make it good. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm. I, like, I really would enjoy like a good Vegas trip with you guys as well. I think that would be really fun, but I think it would also be really fun with our spouses because our spouses I know. would be fun. So it's like those big ass trips needs to be with our spouses, you know? So we have a good bunch of men. We do. Yeah. They're like fun. They all like each Super other. Super fun. Super fun people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh there's a lot of fun ahead for us. Oh, ben, oui, tout le temps, tout le temps. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so do, do you have anything you want to add? What's happening? Do you have any cards? <laughs> I think I, Neil has cards. I use all my cards. Yeah. Um. Okay, so, um. okay, this was a question. If you were to search for our business, but not knowing the name, what would you write in Google? Isn't that interesting? Yeah. So people were like, oh, that's an odd, weird question. I was like, think about it. Like if you were to be like, uh, you know, you wouldn't write in Google, like losing weight fast. That is not what you would write. Your weight loss would not pop up. Lo. You know what I mean? So what would you write? And they're like, I want to lose weight my way. Like literally they're like, that's what your service does. Like I, the person needs to be at a place where they're like, I want to lose weight my way. And one girl said, I would write losing uh, easy weight loss. I was like, like, I love that, that she used the word easy for her. That represents her journey. She lost 25 pounds in six months. And she was like, I just feel like it happened. And I, I wasn't really trying hard. And it was like, and okay. she was a chronic calorie counter. Yeah. She was like, like, I remember having the conversation with her before yeah. she joined. And she was like, that was scary to her. So imagine yeah. you've been counting calories for so long and then you stop and still lose weight. Imagine how easy that's probably part of the reason why. Also imagine like the, the whole, like uh, mind blown, like your whole life, literally, you've probably believed that that was like something you needed to do lo to lose weight. So look at that. You can have two people. Okay. Chronic calorie counters and both want to lose weight. And then they hear something about your weight loss. One's like, bullshit, can't do it without it. Blah, 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 blah. This person is not going to like, like what we have to say. But you have the other person that's like so tired of counting calories and is so curious of like, man, I could do this my way. That would be the dream and not skeptical. 
they, she, she did creep us for a little bit and really fell in love with our personalities and what we had to offer. She did share that. And she said, like, I really felt connected to like how transparent you guys were. And I'm like, man, like they really seem to, you know what else she said? I really liked her. She said, you can't, she's like, first of all, I can do this my way and it's cheap. So for her, your weight loss was cheap which was another word she used. And I was like, so she chose cheap and easy. I was like, my God. Yeah. So yeah. We can sell those words. That's for sure. Um, and she's like, oh my God, because she, she said, you know, I had just been, this was another girl, but she had just been sold. This other girl had been sold this, this thing where this woman was promising her to lose a hundred pounds. And, uh, but she needed to follow whatever. And it was like very expensive. I think it was $600 a month something like that. Isn't that crazy? Um, and she went, but she was promising her a hundred pound weight loss. So at this point it's like, and I'm like, Oh, just there. I, it come rubs me so much though. Like, I'm like, I can't even like keep talking about it. Um, and then your weight loss, she like, was like, I'm going to wait. And then your weight loss, she saw my, me shaking my ass on a reel. And then like, was like, I'm going to try this first. Like this is $140 for four months. I'm going to try that and see. And she's like, it's changed my life. So it's like, and now she's like, now I recognize the bullshit that is $600 a month. Like they take advantage, lo, of, oh. uh, like just, so I want you to know, lo, <laughs> uh, you know, guys, we have the knowledge enough to force you to lose weight as well. Just like all these people, oh. like we could <laughs> also be like $1,000 and I'll make you lose. Like, I know what to do to, you know, like, like I also can, yeah, I can also do that for you, but like, Easy. That's not what I want to give you. Like, I don't want to give you weight loss. I want to give you the power of choosing what that looks like. I want you to figure out life your way. Like, go and do that because that's what we did. And it's so powerful. It wasn't the weight loss piece. It was like, we did it our way. So powerful, you know? Oh, holy shit. We have a lot to say, huh? So easy and, and cheap. I like that from her. Yeah, easy and cheap. I like that for her. Do you know what really got me was seeing the local juicery, which I love, and go and get juice from there a, okay. a lot. Um, but them selling a seven-day juice cleanse for the same amount of price as our one-year membership. <gasps> it was like four, absolutely, seven-day juice cleanse. For was $400? 400 and something dollars, yeah. Oh. And I thought, and it was, it was pushed in January, so there's people who wanted the boost to their weight loss journey and they spent $400 to drink juice for a week and make no progress on their mindset when they could have purchased. And no progress on their bodies. I'm sorry, Tariani. No. You to it. Sorry, it's a lab. The second you eat a piece of bread, you guys, it's back. Shit, huh? Yeah. That really upset you. Oh, wow. So some viens me chercher là. Ça c'est mm -hmm. comme jouer avec le le système. Ce que je veux dire? Yeah. Oh, Greg Gizo. And and people are willing, and you know, I reflect on that. I'm like, why are people so willing to pay? To pay? Is it because they think that will work? That will be easy. That will be fast. Like I need to understand what is attractive about extreme deprivation. Like what, like literally, what is attractive about extreme deprivation? I think it's because you, as we've connected for so long, weight loss needs to feel hard and be hard. So if I'm deprived and it sucks, yeah. I will get weight loss. Yeah. Also, we've connected that, like, if I get weight loss, I'm successful. I'm, if we get, if I get weight loss, I'm happy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that's even, yeah. Yeah. I, guys, well, you're not chasing weight loss right now. You're chasing uh, happiness. Yeah. You're trying to be happy. You're trying to like find yourself. You're trying to, you know, live a life worthwhile. You're, that's yeah. what you're doing. And you think that thinness is going to give you that. And you're not wrong in a way that living in a thinner body can definitely have its advantages in your life. Absolutely. But you need to realize that the way you do it can have really bad consequences uh, and has an impact in your life as well. So it's not just the thinner body that has an impact in your life. It's how you do it. That also has an impact on your life. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, okay. Let's update the world on Jeff. Okay. So here's the thing. So Jeff basically did the whole, like, I'm going to eat a lot of food, focus on protein, workout, workout so that I'm building muscle. He did all of that. 
And then what I love the most about, and then now he's like in the cutting phase, which is cutting his calories, keeping protein up, keeping his workouts up. And so that he looks the way he looks, which is very nice. Um, but here's the thing. I love how there's like no clearly is doing it for him because no one knows he's doing this no one doesn't even post naked pictures on the internet doesn't so even upset. post a picture of his body so clearly doesn't it's not for so other upset. so upset but it's just like that piece of like this is literally a journey for him that he wanted he it's not like he's like he doesn't have like any internal like conflict on what he wants and why he's doing it it's like he just like it's so slow and he's like making things work as well. Like he's not like, I need to work out at the same time and whatever. Like some days I see him working in the morning, work out in the morning. Sometimes it's in the evening, depending on his schedule. Sometimes it's like in the afternoon, he'll come home a little early from work so that he can fit it in before he goes to his next job, you know, uh, on Thursdays. So he like really is like, okay, I need to fit in this workout. I want to, but it's just like so interesting how there's no drama. I've seen him over consuming calories. So trying to be in a surplus gain 40 pounds. He gained 40 pounds. Yeah. He gained 40 pounds and now he's lost like in the past, like he started January, I think it was like seventh or whatever. He's like, Oh, I'm starting like now I'm going to be in a calorie deficit. And it was like, so like, I'm going to be in a calorie deficit, basically like instead of this, it's going to be this, or instead of that amount, I'm going to cut here. Like he literally kept eating the same thing, just like less of, uh, still eats at my mom, still whatever. Like, it's like literally the same thing, just less. And now this month he's lost 12 pounds, which is kind of crazy, but he, I'm like, you're in a massive deficit. Like I see that he like really pushed it. And I'm like, why are you trying to do this fast? It's like, I'm really not finding it hard. I was so tired of freaking eating all that food. Like he just like was eating so much when he wasn't hungry. Um, he's like, no, this is, and he's like, oh, I feel so much better in this body. Like it was like, so like, it had tellement rendu comme oh. rendu full. It had comme, il pouvait pas se pencher là. Like he was like trying to like do his, his sneakers and he was like, oh my God, everything's so tight. Everything, you know? So he's like, no, I was like, he's like, I was so ready to like stop eating like that. And it wasn't like he's eating anything. He was just eating the same food. Obviously he was focused on that goal. I guess two things we can learn from him. One wasn't for anyone else wasn't a show, wasn't a spectacle, wasn't because society told him to, <laughs> wasn't so that he looks better. Like, you know what I mean? Like it had nothing to do with that. I think it was literally just like, I want to push, I want to challenge myself. It was literally yeah, it was just like a journey for him. Yeah. I also need to say that like watching him and being a part of his life every day, never did he complain. Didn't complain. Didn't say this is hard. Didn't say, I mean, he complained if he was like hurting, no? you know what I mean? Like, and he'd be like, oh, I need to like take a little break because like, I obviously pushed it a little bit too much and like his back was hurting or whatever, which I think is a part of strength training, like hurting, like, and I'm sometimes I'm like, why are you doing this? You're hurting. You can't even walk. Like, yeah. I'm like, I thought we were trying to get old and, and be flexible and, and not hurt our body. I have some questions and I'm sure the audience has similar questions. Okay. So when Jeff, let's start with bulking. So when Jeff's bulking, uh, is he counting calories? He is not. He is okay. not. However, he does have an estimate in his head and he was weighing his protein. Okay. Make so sure that was protein. So awareness. he, huh? Awareness. Okay. So he just like was focused on the protein and had portion awareness with his protein. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Now I feel like, I feel like he wouldn't weigh a meatball at your mom's. Absolutely not. No. So it was when, when it was easy for him to do it, like, let's say we're doing home. chicken sandwich, he would like weigh his chicken, making sure he had like a good amount of ounces or whatever. Cause I think naturally Jeff is not a, um, overeater. Like he just like, he doesn't need big portions. So for him to be eating more, it's like, he needed to see like, okay, I, he knows mathematically he might've wanted like eight ounces of whatever. So I think naturally he would put like four and be like, Oh my God, that's not like, I didn't know that that wasn't enough. Like, that's very interesting to me that it's like the opposite of like the, the person that's trying to lose weight, but right. like see how, see how for him gaining weight is not his natural habitat. Just like us losing weight is not our natural habitat. So like we have to create awareness. Yeah. You know, um, I realized yesterday when I was talking on a live about, you know, I was saying calorie awareness with my, my own, like, you know, mindful weight loss journey. And I was like, actually it's not calorie awareness. I'm actually doing 
portion awareness. Okay. I see. You know what I mean? Cause it's like, be, okay. Yeah, no, it's not the same, but kind of, but I see what you're saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like portion awareness anyways. And I see Jeff doing that as well. Okay. So now we're cutting. Right. So again, we're still weighing our protein. We're, uh, yeah. Still, yeah. we're still focusing on protein. Right. And so give us examples. We're still not counting calories. No. Give us examples of like how he's cutting portions. So basically like I saw him just, um, he switched from like three, he would eat like three eggs and like to two toast. Now he's like switched to egg whites and he really likes egg whites. He's like, this is actually delicious. And he's like, he puts like salt and pepper and he's like, I really, he really enjoys it. So he's cutting in calories in that sense. Okay. Yeah. He stopped his like Monday, um, muffin and muffin and ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Snacky. So I saw him like snacky. Um, I saw him cut that and he like, uh, eats like he's like, my mom had bought jello. He's like, I'll take the jello. Um, so I can see him saying no to things and being like, no, like, no, he, he just like wants less calories in and making sure that whatever calories he is consuming, I mean, jello is not protein friendly, but like all day, he's really focused on like his protein shakes, switch from water instead of milk in his protein shake. Okay. So there's like little so, things like that. So, so far he's, he's making calorie deficit. small little changes, like switching from eggs to egg whites, from milk to water, from a calorie dense nighttime snack to a, you know, yeah, just whatever. Yeah. Basically zero calories. Basically zero. Yeah. For just, jello. Yes. I don't know what he, what's that, what's happening. I made fun of him. I'm like, are you a child? But like, what I think is so interesting as well is that Jeff created a massive deficit, which we highly would not recommend even with just these tiny changes, which is quite interesting, but he does work out a lot. Like his workouts He's are also built so much muscle. So his, oh, like yeah. he is so much muscle. So now his body requires yeah. more energy just to function. Yeah. So he also like on date night, like his, his I was like, going to ask, well, you can tell there's more effort, and like, I'll be like, um, oh, do you want to share like typically on in Tide and Boar, we would do like a, our plate and then share a poutine. He's like, no, no, poutine. like he like, just like, is like, uh, just less, less of less of eating basically. Um, so it's just like, literally, if we could take just those, um, changes and make them in our own lives like and not it's not about the milk versus the water it's not about the putin and no putin just within our lives be like i'm trying to just consume less and go that way and we do not have to lose 12 pounds a month you know what i mean no. so uh that's also yeah i mean and as much as like that's obviously a massive deficit and blah 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 blah, blah and jeff's not the norm but what we can learn from that is like he was creating a surplus so yeah. he's all, like anyone coming into this that is like at the start that has excess fat to lose. Like it's common for it to be quick, like probably next month, February, he, he's not going to lose 12 pounds. Yes. And exactly. And like this week, it Doing already started. Thing. Yeah. It already started to plateau. And let's be real. Like he doesn't want to keep doing a calorie deficit forever. Like he's like, you know, like there's one point where it's like, Hey, I've, I've done what I've done. And this whole journey, if you're like, why did he start doing this? is because he had started cycling way back and had lost a lot of weight and was thin. And for him, it didn't feel, he didn't like the way he felt. He felt like almost weak, burning so many calories. He wasn't eating properly for what he was doing. And for him, he didn't feel good in his skin, whatever that means. He was like getting right, right thin. He was thin. Like there's a videos of, of us. And I'm like, look how thin you were. Like you, you, he was like, I was so thin and not muscly at all. He was like losing all of his muscles. And Jeff also has a past of looking a certain way and having a certain amount of muscles. Like since he was, he had a six pack in grade eight. Like he's just like always been very like fit looking. You know what I mean? So for him, it's almost like the people are like, I've always been a certain way. And then they start gaining weight, mm. and get older. And it really doesn't feel right. Cause you've always mm. been maybe more active, more like that person that really values that. And that's okay. It's also okay to be like, it's no longer in my values. I want whatever, but it's also okay to be like, that's just not who I want to be. You know? I think the biggest thing that we can take away from Jeff's journey Okay. Is that he is zero dramatic. Yeah. So he's able to create a massive calorie deficit without too much issue because he doesn't have the 
binge eating when the scale doesn't go down. He doesn't give her on the weekend because it's Saturday. Like he doesn't get on the scale and then beat himself up all day yeah, about the number. He doesn't have a timeline. Like all this no timeline. timeline. No like other reasons other than this is what I want to do. Like, you know what I mean? Like he's not trying to please society or please anyone. He's just like, this is what I wanted to do. And sometimes we forget that that's a thing, that this could be just what you want to do and that it has nothing to do with, you know, losing to like those rules from diet culture. At one point you can be like, I've had enough. I just don't want to be living this way anymore. And I'm going to take it one day at a time. And whether it's Saturday, whether I get weighed, whether I don't like it's, it, it doesn't matter whether I get on the scale this morning or not changes nothing in my day, you know, but the fact that sometimes it's, I used to live that life or I was upset or it just like used to ruin almost my mood and whatever. So to heal that whole journey, it's like almost like a, a whole way to see life. Now it's like, I do what I want to do every day because I want this. It doesn't matter what I weigh in the morning. It doesn't matter what day it is, you know, but like I sympathize with everyone that is still in that space or in that mind frame because I was there for a very long time. So I, yeah. I also understand it for sure. We understand it. We remember it. We connect yes. with it and we just show up every day, hoping that you guys can see yeah. the, the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was just great. Everyone. Just great. Just great news, everyone. So uh, we'll let you know if uh, we're going to see Justin Timberlake or not, or how I'm going to use this card. Um, but uh, other than that, you guys, no drama is the way to go. Just cutting all of those rules of it should look like this and should look like that. Like, instead of thinking that there needs to be this consistent way to do the thing, <laughs> you literally wake up and you say, how can I treat myself today um, to a great relationship with my health, my body, my thoughts. How can I reconnect? How can I be more awake in my life? That's pretty much it. Okay. All right. Have a great day. Bye.